Hello everyone. Today I have the Galler Collection with Grookey, Scorbunny, and Sobble, who's kind of hanging off screen right now. So for this one, we're going to do kind of a starter battle, and then you can do your bold statements or predictions. Who do you think is going to be the winner? Who do you support? Grookey Gang, Sobble Squad, or Scorbunny something? I don't know if they ever came up with a name. I don't follow it too much. So I'm going to get this open. I'm just going to go little by little, one by one. And uh, you might have noticed that there are two different variants of this. There's one that has the magenta and one that has the cyan. I'm just going to call them that because their English names are just transliterations of the Japanese name, which is actually just English. Za, the, magenta, magenta. It's a super troll. It's like when you convert something back and forth over and over again, and they kind of just you know, become this nebulous thing that isn't either one of them. So let's start Let's start by opening up Grookey, because Grookey is the first one on the Pokedex. We'll take a look at each and every one of them, because these are some, uh, these are the teasers, I guess. Some of the teasers for the new expansion. Expansion? New series. It is actually a new series. Oh, look at that color! That's so cool. Even the box is really cool. And then as I open this stuff, I'll just talk randomly, ramble about uh, Sword and Shield, both the game that I've been playing, as well as TCG stuff. There is a code. The code is definitely mine. I'm talking about like the, the V cards. Oh, is this going to be super satisfying? Gotta do this. This. Oh, it's kind of slanted, that's why. They will come out really easily, though, I'm pretty sure. And just slide them out. Let's see. Score Bunny's already coming out. And there are two variations of the cards there's the regular one, and then there's the promo one. The regular one is actually from the Sword and Shield set. And then the promo is, I believe, an exclusive from these box collections. And there's the code. So this is the Cyan V. This is the this is like a preview for the V cards. Uh, I'll talk about them in a little bit. Oh, we have evolutions. You can't have one of these box collections without an XY set. Like evolutions. But the new stuff is in here too. We've got a number of bonds as well as Cosmic Eclipse. This stuff is way too big for my desk. I'm gonna sleeve these cards immediately. I wonder which team I'm choosing, right? So let's see, this is a regular card. This is the promo card. And then I'll show you the other ones. I'll show you everything once I get them all opened. There's a couple of boxes. I wanna get them open before I talk. Just zoom through this one. The Magenta, great name. I mean, that's why the colors are there, right? You got the magenta dog and the cyan dog. Magenta and... I don't even know how people will pronounce it, honestly. Because they probably wouldn't say the cyan. Probably say, like, Zashian or something. Or Zashian. Oh! Well, I guess they can just funnel out like that if I just push them inwards. Oh, that's satisfying too. Gotta find a satisfying way to open it up. So, the cyan and the magenta. Evolutions, evolutions. Cosmic Eclipse times four and Unbroken Bonds times two. Is it one of each? No, I got two dragon trios. All right, let's get Scorbunny open. Just leave these here. I'll sleeve them in a second. There's just so much to go through. Scorbunny's so cute. This out, and then push, 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 push. Oh yeah, magenta. 
the Pax, and then the Cyan. These cards actually look really nice. So, the Cyan, the Magenta, the Pins, and the Promos. And the packs. Two evolutions. This is not gonna fit. I need a bigger scene for this. Oh, I just have to bear with it. And broken bonds, cosmic eclipse. In order. Chronological order. And then the final one is the Sobble Squad. Show the inside of the box too. So this is what Sobble's box looks like. Last one, the Cyan. I'm trying to keep it on screen, but I'm running out of space. Eh, Fallout. Okay, I do not have much space. So these are the packs, evolutions, unbroken bonds, and then cosmic eclipse, unbroken bonds. Clips in chronological order, and these are the promos. So let's take a look. So notice that there are different promos as well. This is the Sobble promo. 60 HP basic Pokemon. Bind. Flip a coin. If heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. Two times electric weakness and one retreat cost. And then this is the regular Sobble. 70 HP, one pound. Two, one water, one colorless for 20, water gun. Uh, electric weakness as well, retreat one as well. So they're a little bit different. These ones belong to the actual sword and shield set, whereas the promos are part of the boxes. And then let's look at Scorbunny. We're going in opposite direction, in the opposite direction. Uh, let's see. So this is the regular Scorbunny. 70 HP, basic Pokemon. One tackle, one fire, one colorless. Flare for 20, Water Weakness times 2, and Retreat 1. You can see the set as well. The set has 202 cards, not counting secrets. I'm going to put this oh, from here. And then this is the promo score bunny from this box. 60 HP basic, 1 energy, fire energy, super singe for 10, flip a coin, if heads your opponent is now burnt. Uh, water Weakness times 2 and Retreat 1. And then finally, Grookey. The regular Grookey from Sword and Shield is 70 HP basic, 1 for 10 damage with Scratch. 1 Grass, 1 Colorless, Beat, 20 damage, weak to Fire, and 1 Retreat cost. Interesting. So Sobble is not weak to Grass. But these two are weak to the starter trio colors. And the regular one, where's this from? This is from the Scorbunny box. Uh, Branch Poke, that's an actual move that it learns. So troll. 60 HP, basic. One Grass, one Colorless for 30 damage. Branch Poke, that's pretty strong. And then Fire times two and Retreat one. Yeah, that's it. So let's look at the Magenta and the Cyan. I'm going to take these ones because they're easier to get to. The Magenta, or no, the Cyan V, 220 HP, Brave Blade, 230 damage for free. Hello? During your next turn, this Pokemon can't attack. No weakness, no resist, no retreat. That is interesting. I don't know if that's actually the case. And there's no type as well. They're typeless. So I, I feel like these are not what they should be. But at the same time, like you can see, they do have stuff here. Um, so they're most likely steel Pokemon. The Magenta V, 230 HP. Assault Tackle, 130 damage. Discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. No weakness, no resist, no retreat. So with these big jumbo cards, let's just take a look at everything. Uh, the V rule is whenever a Pokemon V is knocked out, your opponent takes two prize cards. You can see the 
position of the logo and the logo itself. It's on the bottom left. So same as Sun and Moon. Weakness and Resist are part of the same area and Retreat is separated by a little gap here. Design choices, I guess. Also, when I was talking about like no cost, no type, no anything, these could just be promotions for the sake of promotions and you'll see the actual card later on with types and other stuff. But let's say that V Pokemon are actually like this. What then? Right? Because they're not as strong as GXs or tag teams. But if they have no type and no retreat and weakness and all that stuff, then they could still be kind of interesting to use. Now what I think is eventually they're going to come out with a, a V Max. I think they teased at it. V Max. So V Pokemon may be able to evolve one more stage to V Max. And then everything will be more clear. They'll have actual costs and maybe they'll be as strong as uh, like higher tier GXs or even tag teams and you have to take like three prize cards when you lose them. Who knows? We'll see though. But these cards, uh, unfortunately the art is still the same. It's still the 3D art. I was hoping they would go in a different direction, but it's hard to say. Like we've only seen these two, right? Haven't seen the other Pokemon, we haven't seen the other uh, V Pokemon or any other types of promos or new rarities, secret rares. We don't know what they look like yet. So there's still a chance that we can get them to look better. Like, better for me, anyway. What I like to see. I know that some people do like this stuff. Now look at the holographic stuff. The, the hollow effect, the foiling effect, is vertical lines, it seems. Even for this one, uh, you can probably see a little bit of it here. I don't know if you can... It depends on the camera angle. I can see them from here. Uh, but there's like, you know, slanted lines on the, the cyan, and then the magenta as well. But everything else is vertical lines, so you can see the Scorbunny vertical lines. Even for the regular ones, compared with Grookey, you can still see some vertical lines around here, but not as many as Scorbunny, maybe because it's just, you know, Scorbunny's in the air. And then Sobble, you can see a lot, a lot of vertical lines, and you have the regular foil, hollow foil effect as well. So yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I like the look of these new cards, I like the new design. I was hoping for different borders. I'm not really a fan of the yellow borders. I, I was hoping that... Let's see, let's bring some Japanese cards out here. Uh, I was hoping for this kind of stuff. So the rainbow rares, they look the same, the GXs look the same, but if you notice, you know, think about it, the GXs are just like modified versions of this silver hollow border that the, the cards have. Like even, you know, this one here, Pokemon Communication. Uh, their hollow Pokemon, all of their hollow rares have a hollow border as well. So I was hoping we would see something like that. There's still a chance, right? This is not the final product, technically. Although, it is for like basics. Maybe the, the rares will be a little bit different. I always hope, right? Alright, that's enough talk. Um, I'll just ramble about Pokemon Sword and Shield the game as I open these. I don't have that much space. Hopefully I can get this to work. So let's just open everything at once for one Pokemon. So let's do... let's start with Grookey. How about that? Or, or no. Let's start with Sobble because this gives me more room on the bottom. Starting with Evolutions. And then if I get any GXs, you can have the codes. Or EXs. Evolutions, I think I actually want to keep the, the code. Oh, I probably shouldn't take it off the screen, huh? I'm good at this. I always forget how to do this. So this is one, two... Um, no energy, and that's it. Well, energy is part of the regular cards. Got a Fighting Energy, Staryu, Tangela, Rattata... Oh, actually, why don't, why don't I just go fast with this one? Oh, hello! Did I do it wrong? I, I did it wrong. It's Oh, it's 1, 2, 3 still. It's 1, 2, 3. Yeah, I did it wrong. So Dugong's the rare, and then Reverse Hollow, Grass, Chespin. It's always for Chespin. Right, I did it wrong. It's because I usually, when I remove it before, um, I have this little thing I do now where like I remove it like this, and then I take the bottom card out. Okay, so that's what it is. I need a tin. I gotta find a tin. I usually put my uh, packs in tins. Okay, so evolutions again. So far, Sobble's not doing that well. So, yeah, this uh, Sword and Shield, right? I'm really liking the game. Kuno. 
really liking the game. It's definitely not as bad as people say it is. Um, actually, before I talk about that, let's talk about the starters. Oh, why am I doing this? Right. Again? Huh, that's good. But I have a lot of these. Like, this is probably the most common one I have. Charge of Spirit Link, Double Colorless Energy, and a bunch of stuff. Unbroken Bonds. So those were dud packs, aside from cool looking energy. They weren't ultra rares. Uh, for this one, same pattern. But there's an energy. One, two, energy to the front, and then one, two to the back. So for this one, I'll look a little bit closer, or slower, go a little bit slower. Got a Fairy Energy, Krabby, Riolu, Esper, Porygon. I'll speed it up as I go with these, go through these ones. I'll ramble more. Darmaka, there's an Alolan? Galarian Darmaka, I didn't know that was not a thing. Uh, Graveler, Porygon, Pikachu, cute, and Greninja, Hollow Rare. That's a really cool one. I'll leave those all over here. I'll round it up in the end, as I usually do. As I always do, I guess. Always a roundup. For good or ill. Metalcore Barrier. I did not see the color. So, one, two, energy front, and then. Ooh, these cards are sticky and damaged. Look at that. A little bit of white stuff on the side there. I don't see any, like, um. hollow stuff coming through, though. Fairy Energy again? Blooper, Cottony, Veteranat. Meowth, Geodude, Tarog, Hapini, oh, the babies though, uh, Diglett, and Polyrath, regular rare, dud pack. Alright, let's get to the good stuff here. Cosmic Eclipse. Do it like this. Eh. It's no space. I'll make room for this after. Code is facing the right direction. Same direction. Got an Ambipalm. One, two, uh, one, two energy, and then two to the back. Metal, Nose Pass, Snow Runt, Rock Rough, Deerling, Teddy Ursa, Probo Pass, Torkoal, Entei Hollow, Reverse Hollow, and Mimikyu. Dud pack. This has been really bad so far. Come on, Sobble. Come on, Sobble Squad. You can do it. So these three starters, this is the first generation in, well, ever, I guess, that I've really, 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 really liked all three of them. All three starters. I think Gen 4 is the only other one that I actually liked all three starters, and was Resolve. But it wasn't, like, really, really like. I really, really like all of these. Uh, one, two, energy, and then two to the back. Obviously, Score Bunny is my favorite, but it's still like, you know, I really like them. They're awesome. Look at them. Helioptile, Carvana, Tepig, Togedemaru, Onyx, Caitlyn, and Cynthia, Ultion. Ooh, that's something. Speaking of Gen 4 starters, right? And Go Lurk. So I got something at least. Two packs left. There's still a chance. Still a chance to get good stuff, or the others could just get bad stuff. And then maybe Sobble will win. But it's looking bad. Looking very bad for our secret agent, Chameleon. Lana's Fishing Rod. Two energy, and then two grass, Sandy Gast, Sfeel, Cottony, Rowlet. Phantump, Anorith, Gloom, Swoobat, and a Pile of Sand. That's the other one, this name. I just call it Pile of Sand, like the Cyan and the Magenta. Because it's just Pile of Sand. I mean, there's a lot of names like that. I just can't recall from the top of my head. Like some of the, the weird corruptions. Rapidash, not Galarian. So, no GXs, no Ultra Rares, oh, or I guess that was an Ultra Rare, but no GXs. GX slot GXs. Rare slot GXs? Come on, last chance. Because this would be really bad for Sobble. 
Rockruff, Deerling, Teddy Ursa, Golette, Dewpider, Draw Energy, Unidentified Fossil, Dragology, and Entei. Regular rare. Wow. That's it. That's all I got. That's all Sobble got. Makes me want to Sobble. There's one Hollow Rare. It's a pretty cool looking one, but it's not really great. Got some Reverse Hollow Rares at least. So that's it. That's all this thing got. That's all that Sobble got. Okay. Uh, oh! That was good. Shot the Fossil. Let's organize this, I'll put this to the side, and then well, I'll organize it whenever I can. Just want to get this open, get this stuff open. Uh, this stuff I'll leave on the side. But yeah, that's that's what Sobble got. So let's put this together. And then this is Sobble's stack. I'll remove the magenta. Okay, Scorbunny now. So I've got more room now. Ooh. Evolution is going to go really fast. Uh, so Sword and Shield, yeah, it's, it's a lot better than people gave it credit for. I can see why they complain, I understand why, but I don't really care that much. Like the National Dex thing, I don't really care about. Blastoise Spirit Link, got a Mega Blastoise EX, there you go. Perfect, this is actually perfect, look at that. That doesn't happen often, but it feels good when it does happen. Super potion it, I guess. Okay, so the first EX or GX, that means that Scorbunny is already winning compared to Sobble. It's kinda kinda sucks. When you um when you pick the stars, or when you're about to pick the starters in the game, I don't want to spoil it. I think we're still in spoiler territory. There's a very cute interaction between the three starters. Get out of here. Because they are cute. They're, they're absolutely adorable. But when they evolve, it's a little bit different. Like at first... Another Blastoise Spirit Link, another Blastoise? Uh, Double Do Duo? Hitmonchan, Hollow Rare. That card I actually do not see very often, I don't know why. I think that's actually my first Hitmonchan ever. And I've opened a lot of evolutions, it's really weird. Most of the time, though, evolutions I open from, um, you know, like these kinds of sets. I don't actually buy evolutions because it's old. And even then, it wasn't really, you know, didn't really want to. It's pretty good, though. Maybe I have it already. I don't know. It's hard to say. Uh, this is Unbroken Bonds. Got a Haunter and what is it? Carvana Reverse Hollow and Clefable. I'll organize this all later. Such a mess. But yeah, the, the second forms, I think I like Sor Sorbunny's the least? No. I like... What is it? I don't know what it's called. I actually don't know what it's called. The, the second form of Sobble, I like the least. So I think it looks ridiculous. But Gr Grookey's second form is my favorite. And then Sorbunny's just meh. I used to actually dislike Sorbunny's. Fairy Charm Ability and Genesect. Because I thought it looked really stupid. It sounds stupid. It's a rabbit. Like a foot? Ra ra foot? Rabbit? Or Raboot? It looks like Raboot. Which is dumb. But Raboot is also dumb. And then I thought it, the color scheme was really dumb. But then if you look at it in game, like the, the animations and stuff, it's actually a little hoodie that it wears. So it's really adorable. I just showed half the code. Let's hope there's something here. There's nothing here! Maybe you can guess the code. There's only like a billion options. I'm gonna... put that code in my not redeemed stack. Maybe once I redeem it at some point, someone will have gotten it. If they do, then good for them. Uh, but yeah, the, the game is, is actually quite fun. Enjoying it a lot. Cosmoem and Slurpuff. Another 
dud. Wow, this kind of sucks. The Nuzlocke is very hard, though. This, the Nuzlocke is still ongoing. I've been playing it for over 20 hours. I, I'm just rushing it. I'm, I'm just... You know, I have to work a lot, but then... Uh, I'm trying to, you know, burn the candle at both ends in order to get this done as soon as I can. But it's just working out. Um, the Nuzlocke is very hard, though. I, like, the rules are also kind of iffy, because I'm not sure how to do a Nuzlocke for the current generation after Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. This is kind of bad, too. Score Bunny, I think Grookey's going to win at this rate. I just got this feeling. Unless this is the GX. Like a Rainbow Rare or something. Oh, yeah, I think it's over. I think, uh, I think Grookey's going to win for sure. Who knows? But these are terrible boxes. It's really unlucky. Okay, so these are the Reverse Hollows and Rares. And then, yeah, let's put this here. I put it on the bottom, right? Okay, I actually have room now. Ah. Okay. Grookey Gang, let's go. Ah, I'm almost done the opening already. I'm zooming through it, not doing the name thing. Rock Scrit, and I got a Raichu Fat Rat. More Peko. One of my favorite Pokemon so far. More Peko's awesome. Marnie's awesome. Uh, the other trainers, not as much, but you know, what can you do? Can't win them all, right? And you don't really play. Oh, I see something. You don't really play the games for story. Let's be real. It's Pokemon. You two EX, nice. And a secret rare Pikachu. Wow. Grookey's gonna win. I can feel it. But uh, oh yeah, I forgot to talk about the evolutions. Uh, so Score Bunny, so this is how I rate it Score Bunny, Grookey, Sobble, her first forms. Grookey or Thwacky, Rabut. And then the last thing. And then for the final forms, it's Intellion, Cinderace, and then Rillaboom by a big margin, because I actually don't like that one. Kind of sucks. Cinderace kind of threw on me too, but I still think it, it could have been better, the, the design for it. The pants and the shirt and stuff, they look way too tight. Kingler and Oddish. Oh, I didn't give you the evolutions code, did I? There we go. Way too tight. Okay, another Unbroken Bonds. Charger Bug, Torcat, and Arbok. Wow, these are horrible packs. I feel like... I'm getting ripped off. But I guess I, I have been getting kind of lucky recently. Let's hope the luck continues for these ones. Maybe four GXs in a row here? That'd be insane. Pan, Goro, and Garbage. Damn, this sucks. This really sucks. I value GXs above EXs. So, if... Oh, the, wait, actually, Scorbunny didn't get a GX. Scorbunny got an EX. So it's tied, technically. Oh, well, it's over. That's the win. Got a Torkoal. Full art. But no code, it's not a GX. Last two packs. I can't wait for the new expansion. Expansion? I'm calling expansion, the new set. 
Beast Tight, and a Lowland Sand Slash. Last one. Babies. Baby, baby, baby. So many babies. I didn't get to talk much, huh? Uh, Nuzlocke is almost over as of this video, as of recording this video. But it's it's on Twitch. It's going to be on YouTube slowly. Nothing! It sucks. Wow. That really sucks, because this, this thing can actually be one of these. That's the worst part, the worst feeling. Let's get this sleeved. The two things? Three things? This Pikachu's a secret rare, so technically it's worth more, right? And it's a Pikachu. It's a cute surfing Pikachu. So the, the whole National Dex thing I don't think is a big problem because... Um, I mean, the, the thing is people are treating this as an emotional issue. They're using their emotions to kind of look at it. And it's understandable. Like I said, that's why. It's understandable. Like You want more Pokémon. You want your favorite Pokémon. It feels good. But from a game design standpoint, it might actually be a little more interesting to restrict the amount of Pokémon so that the metagame is a little bit you know, more restricted as well. And... The concept is, like, if you add restrictions, then players will be making more intelligent choices. I don't know if that'll actually apply to this, but generally speaking, that's how it goes. Like, that's why Pokémon only have two moves, or because those restrictions will make it so you have to make intelligent choices. And that's good, because, you know, it rewards you for being smart. Alright, so, Grookey Gang. We'll go from the end. So it was actually in order, in terms of uh, what they got. Uh, we got a... this is an Intellion? Sobble? Sobble got a full art Piplup. I haven't sleeved that one for some reason. Full art Piplup and two Reverse Hollow Grass Energy for Chespin. So Sobble is looking out for Chespin. So nice, right? So, so nice. Look how adorable it is. Hiding underneath. We got a little rainbow on the side too. And it has that surprise Pikachu face. I love it. Sobble Squad. The verdict? Fail. Ugh. Fail. Scorbunny something. Blastoise EX. Mega Blastoise EX. That's it. That's a little bit fail as well. But it's okay, because Scorbunny's cute. They're all cute. And the winner, in the middle, on the Flygon pedestal, is the Grookey Gang with Mewtwo EX, Full Art Torkoal, and a Surfing Pikachu. But that was horrible, because these boxes are, what, like 20 bucks each? So 2020, 2020, 2020, 120, 120 bucks for this garbage. <sighs> At least I got the promos and the, the cool hollow versions of the new cards coming out. Those are going to be collector's items, but the actual cards themselves, the worst part is that I didn't get a single GX. Are you serious? How is that even possible? There were six evolutions packs. Out of six evolutions, I guess we can look at it that way. Out of six evolutions packs, we got two Reverse Hollow Grass Energy, a Surfing Pikachu, a Me Too EX, and a Mega Blastoise EX out of six. So that's pretty good. Those are good odds. Out of 12 Cosmic Eclipse, I got a Piplup and a Torkoal Full Art. Out of six unbroken bonds, as usual, that set screws me over. I got nothing. That's great. All right then, that will be it. The Cyan, the Magenta, the Cyan, the Magenta, the Magenta, the Cyan, and the winner is 
the mischievous little monkey. The adorable little branch poking thing. Grookey. Let's see if I can get this to show everything. Let's see if I can pizza plate it. Pizza pizza platter it? You call those things pizza dish it? Ah! Okay, that's not gonna work. Let's just do the promo then, because you'll see the other one later. Anyway, for Sword and Shield. Coming out in three months? February? Yeah, something like that. Ooh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time for more stuff. I wish I could talk about more, but we need to go now. Bye.